Hi everybody and welcome to Local Butter. I'm here this morning with my good friend Christy Hicks who has throughout her life been an entrepreneur in so many different ways. Um, starting with back east somewhere, right? Or the south. What, how did you start? I worked for a large uh, mail order catalog company and I was a buyer and developer for them and so many small companies were trying to expand their product assortments but didn't know how to do it and they kept calling and asking me how to do it because I worked for a big company that knew how and so that got me thinking about starting my own business so at 26 I started Revolution Sports and I helped small and mid-sized sporting goods companies um, expand their lines of apparel and accessories and then it grew to large companies like Nike who needed to outsource for more efficient production. And are you still in Sold touch that with them? Company, Sold but I them. still consult with them. Still consults, has three children, three young children, the woman who can do everything, was involved in a spa, um, a decorator, helped me with my house, just so many talents and most recently is starting a new line called Gear Pockets but her, basically, Christy's known as Christy Design, and you recently took a trip to China, and I want to hear all about it. Well, it was quite interesting. Um, I've heard from different people many different takes. Some people said it's fabulous, cosmopolitan. Some people said it's so dirty, you won't be able to take it. So I was very eager to see what my perceptions were. And, and why were you going? I was going to visit my manufacturing facility and my fabric manufacturing. For the gear pockets. For the gear pockets product line. So I went over there for seven days, and um, it was eye-opening. It's an extremely poor, as you know, country, but Shanghai is where I was based, and they are getting ready for the big World Expo, and so they have, you know, 40 million people Boring. in the one city. So they've got 20 million of those people working on construction projects mm -hmm. to quickly make Shanghai look Shanghai. like this, you know, cosmopolitan right. area. Pumping money into but it. the sad thing is, you know, you have 80-year-old Chinese men working on the side of the roads, and mm. the quality of life there is just different. And they they don't they don't have a quality. You know, you know they work not for a better life down the road. Um, they work until they die. Mm -hmm. So you know, an example of I went to see a factory that makes PVC coatings, and everyone's talking about re, you know. Um, not using plastics and asking for packaging without plastic and all that. And then on the west coast, there's a whole island full of plastics. Mm. Well, it's devastating to see how plastic is made and used. You know, the chemicals, um, yet yeah, you walk into a factory, of course, they have no ventilation and they're making PVC line, they're lining that on the backs of fabrics, mm -hmm. or PU fabrics. And the smell, you know, when you open up a shower curtain and you, right. you have that fume? Yes. The fume, those are toxins that can stay in your body for up to a month. And for children and infants, it's extremely um, poisonous. And that's why now we're, we have stricter standards. But going in these factories, these there are these Chinese men, they're smoking cigarettes, inhaling this <laughs> these fumes all day, every day. And you think, oh my gosh, that's terrible. You know, they're going to die soon. Well... They're not. They, I mean, they, they have a life, pretty I mean, life, they long just, expectancy, don't they? They do, they do, and they aren't thinking, oh, the quality of life, you know, I want to feel good and run a marathon, and, you know, when right. I retire. They just work and die. They eat well, though. And they do. Huh, that's a whole other topic. Well, right? I guess some of Woo, the food boy. is a little odd, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, yeah. Every day, the factories would take me to lunch and really oh. try to make it the fancy What's lunch the weirdest thing you tried? Oh, I didn't try anything. The weirdest, I said I was Buddhist. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> oh, so you couldn't eat the, the, <laughs> the worst birds. is the yes. soup that has all the chicken feet in yes. it. So, oh. I mean, the real live chicken feet, and there's there are a bunch of oh them. Oh, my golly. You suck out the marrow and then oh, chew, goodness. and then spit out the little bones that can't it's like a crawfish. get spotted. So now on top of everything else that you went there for, you come home, and you're so overtaken by this plastic thing. Now you have to go re -re retrofit yeah. your whole house and all oh, of your stuff in your kitchen. Well, that's what. Well, gear pockets and Simply Stash are green. It's green. And they, the most strict standards, I mean, this is what got me for sure to do this. Is that it's, it's definitely higher price. I mean, when you do yes. um, green products, it's higher. But um, the European Union, it has the strictest standards for infant and babies, and they've outlawed eight of these toxins. It cannot be in any baby and um, mm. child products, and so all of my products have that standard. So 
um, you know, it's a little step, but you know, Bend is so sheltered. We we are we already are green, but you go to Las Vegas or something, the trade shows there are a million water bottles being drunk right. and thrown away. In Vegas, there is no recycling. Well, if you pay a little bit more for something, I find that you appreciate it a little bit more as well. You know, even if it's just either your food or something that's oh, yeah. wrapped properly, you just feel like it's got a little bit more importance in your life. Definitely. Well, we want to learn all about Gear Pockets and what was the other one? Simply Stash. Simply Stash. Christy, is, it's to help us get organized in our homes and look good at the same time. So stay tuned and find out more about Christy's latest Gear Pockets and Simply Stashed. Thank you.